Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again from this short break, and uh, once again, my name is Apostle Helen Rudokeno, uh, and uh, we've been discussing on our marriages issues and uh, the problems, and why is it that African men marrying African men and women treat them differently, and the same African men marrying white women treat them differently. And I've been on this show with uh, uh, Minister Beauty, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, now we also have another controversial, exciting lady, Anita Hogan of Nollywood. Anita, please say hello to Majesty Christian Television viewers. Hello, people. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. I'm very late. I came late. Uh, let me confess. Uh, before my co- my conscience will flog me and flog me and flog me. So I'm confessing, but I'm so glad to be here. It feels really good to be here. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So, um, uh, Minister... Beauty, we were talking about uh, the, the living part of a man. Mm-hmm. A man living and uh, must not cleave with the family. Yeah. Because the Bible said he has to live and not cleave and become one with the wife. Yeah. All right. And, and I said to us, in, in, if a man did not live properly or there's no right clicking, mm-hmm. what happens? The marriage will be very, very curious. Yeah. And uh, then the man wouldn't be able to treat the wife the way he ought to. So, but Anita has another aspect of the whole thing. So, honey, <laughs> tell well, us what <laughs> what have you observed since you you came here? Because you you told me. <laughs> I remember when we were when we were when we were talking through Skype. You were you told me that come, Apostle, why is it that uh, African men who are married to African women here treat them differently, and African men married to African uh, to the Dutch women treat them differently too? What did you observe, honey? Well, uh, what happened is I was in the salon someday, minding my business. <laughs> and I was listening to a gossip while minding my business. <laughs> anyway, and a lady, one of the ladies making her hair there now was like, oh, she heard from, yeah, Grapevine that her ex was complaining that, oh, he's strained and he's tired from you know, babysitting and everything. And the thing came as a shock to her because uh, when they were married, he would never accept, you know, to help with babysitting a child that is also his. And he would never accept to, you know, participate in homely things. You know, the macho, typical macho African man. Mm-hmm. You know, so, but she tolerated it. But after a while, she just felt, look, man, I don't need to be running after you all the time. If you love me, you should be exactly. part of this whole yeah. thing. And he, along the line, he met a du- the same guy met a Dutch girl, mm. got married to the Dutch girl. Mm. And now, there's a schedule. They have a baby. There's a roaster in the house that he has to wake up <laughs> twice. <laughs> twice. In the middle of, <laughs> in the, the, middle night. of the night mm-hmm. when the baby To feed cries, the baby. To feed the baby. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. he is complying <laughs> to the roaster mm-hmm. without... <laughs> argument without anything but he goes outside you know to tell his friends that ah this thing is killing but at home he does it with all his heart yes. and <laughs> smiling and did you know the lady felt a bit of hurt that look why what did the lady do differently that i didn't do to, exactly you know yes. I'm sure you understand yeah so i i just feel I just feel like I was telling her. I think I feel we African women yes. are too, too, too forgiving. I'm sorry. Maybe you don't agree with me. Yeah. You know. Or, or, or it could be we are too submissive. Uh, yes. We are and too then because of the submissiveness, uh, then the men are trying to uh, use up that uh, this to to ride on us. You know. What? Yeah, well, so, uh, so Minister mm-hmm. Beauty, mm-hmm. Yeah. the submissiveness <laughs> that the Bible is talking here, that mm-hmm. say women submit to your husband, husband. is it, that they become like No, that's not what the, word, but what the Bible says. <laughs> <laughs> the, submiss- the, the submissiveness has to do with reverencing, mm-hmm. you know, respecting, honoring your husband. Because he's your husband. Yeah. You know, that's what sometimes I don't get it. This is the man you share a bed with. Mm-hmm. This is the man you, you share a home with. Yeah. So if you don't reverence him, who else will? Does that mean he doesn't so, need to babysit? Because you are reverencing no, him? No, th- that is where I said, you know, you know, for us uh, as black, let's say as, as Africans, I, b- I believe strongly culture plays a role and tradition plays a role, like I said in the beginning, because 
when you when you are trying to translate culture tradition to church stuff like Paul is saying love your wives yeah it's a command to the husband yeah and he said the wives submit yourself to your to your to your husband yes it is it is easy to do but then because tradition plays a role uh -huh. the oh, man yes. becomes this macho thing in the house mm -hmm. and he thinks he's above law he's yeah. above reproach mm -hmm. he doesn't help with household chores he doesn't help in babysitting like you said yes. after all the baby was made by the two of them yeah so, yeah so why would he babysit for a white woman that he married <laughs> child and not for the woman it is a culture thing i think i'm beginning to see a sense in it yeah it in is what the culture she's saying thing. okay in, in in our african culture yeah it's it's a culture that is like the women have to be 100 percent responsible for the home yeah you know yes it also it's been imbibed uh, you know Into like us. a friend uh, you know I, a friend of mine i went to visit her and I saw, I noticed she has a set of twins, yeah. a boy and a girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that she kept on passing on a lot of household activities more to her daughter, mm. unconsciously. Yes. It wasn't a conscious thing. Mm -hmm. you know? She kept on telling the daughter, oh, go to the kitchen, do this. Yeah. You'll take this to here. Mm. And the son was just sitting in the front of the TV. Yeah. Mm. You know, after eating, the daughter stood up mm -hmm. and cleared, you know, that's the gender the, problem. That's the gender issue. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And both of them are twins. Twins, you know. Yeah. Wow. And I now told her, is there any particular reason you're doing why? this? Yeah. Do you know why she did not realize she was doing it? No. Wow. You know, it, that's what I said, so, you know. It was already something. Of who, yeah. That she brought from wherever she's coming from, which is back home in Nigeria. Yes. You know that look as a girl, you have to know how to sweep, clean, wash, do this, and the boys should just sit down and make money. That's the gender you know, problem. It is know? it is a culture you thing, know? like I said, and that is the reason why we are not being effective as believers because we are torn between culture, tradition and also the things of God. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, the the biblical aspect of our lifestyle, yes. which is the spiritual aspect. Yes. And so we are torn between these things. Yes, and, exactly. And, and at one point in time, uh, you know, you don't know wh which one you should use even more. Like I said, the white, a, a black man picking a white woman, of yes. course knows who, right from the beginning the woman is not from Nigeria. So he yes. is already inclined to want to treat that white lady differently. But why? The culture. Because of the culture, yes. you mean? Yes. That's imbibed. Because the... Yeah, you know, we were taught, yes. you, know, we're back, you know, back at home when visitors come to your home to yes. visit, yes. we were we taught to treat visitors good. differently. In fact, yeah. uh, then your best spoon and your best place you go to the visitors <laughs> with, the very spoon, you yourself, you've never yeah, used you. it. It's Meanwhile, true. you bought it's it with true. your money. Yeah, it's true. Me, she, she, even she, here in uh, Europe, yeah. I have beautiful cutlery sets. I've never used the cutlery set for myself. <laughs> Am I not good enough to use it? <laughs> nee, I'm good enough. Yes. But yes. it's reserved in a suitcase. Yes. I've never touched it. Exactly. I'll wait till I get a visitor. <laughs> and I'll pull it out. Okay. okay. I'll to display, yeah. you know, my yeah. hospitality. So yes. these things are imbibed in us. They, 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 they are part of who we are. We grew up, you know, like I gave the analogy about the porridge and the tea. Yes. Mm -hmm. You grew up drinking porridge every day. Mm -hmm. That's what you were taught. Wow. You are used to drinking porridge. And mm -hmm. now you come to a place where you are introduced to tea and bread. If you are not careful, you spit it out. Mm -hmm. Because you will be like, uh-uh. But if that's the case, how can we now help those who are listening to us? How can we help them to be able to correct uh, this uh, mistake that they are uh, doing? Yes. Because it is wrecking you think it's homes. A mistake? Is it not wrecking homes? No, no, no. Well, I don't think it's a mistake if the woman has already accepted that role. Yeah, but Which then role? they accept it with grudges. Yeah, because they are grudges. They, 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 yeah, they, they are accept it and they are, they are, they are, they are, most of them are held bound by the situation. They can't talk about it. They can't air their, you know, indifferences, their anger. They can't. You know, some of them are even afraid to talk about it. Yes, and because if they talk about it, oh, they okay. would. Do you think time? would eventually make such cultures relax because revolting against it i, I think is, it hurts uh -huh. it eventually causes a kind of depression or mm -hmm. you completely break down which i overheard you guys talking about you know uh, cleaving completely one one plus one becoming one yes yeah. in, 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 in 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 nigeria where i come from that yeah. is almost impossible mm. because of mm -hmm. of our culture uh, so and what is in our culture that cannot be changed because i think it's I, time. I believe i believe that we can the word of the about, lord the word of the lord is able to about, change i said it change. in the beginning i said the word of god is about can change every situation above, uh, mm. uh, uh, yes 
Yes. You but, know, uh, but there's, there are people, there's nobody much more religious than the... I mean, like I go in Nigeria, mm. practically every street. Yes, it's not about church. church but <laughs> practically every street mm. has a church. Yeah. Practically every street has a mosque. Yeah. You mm. know? Mm -hmm. So, and this is how... Yeah, I'm not very young, but this is what I have been seeing since I was a child. Right. Can I you say know? something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the word. Uh, and I always use the word as the basis. Okay. We've already read in the beginning, we said in Ephesians 5, uh -huh. 30. Yes. Is it, uh, let's say 31. Yes. No, first, Ephesians let's start. No, it says 28. It mm -hmm. said, so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. It starts even from here. Mm -hmm. It said, um, so ought men to love their wives as their own body. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe that even this, uh, verses that we were, you know, uh, explaining in the beginning. Yeah. Even the church in itself don't really teach these things to the men. We 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 just preach it like oh, uh, for for this cause a man shall leave the uh, yeah. blah, 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 and cling to the wife yeah. and become one soul and become one spirit. Yes, yes. And sometimes we always preach, you know, and so the husband should love their wives, but how? Yeah, but the you, practicality <laughs> aspect. But ah. you, you, you have been talking about culture interfering in what we are doing. Mm -hmm. Now, a man from the from the African perspective, mm -hmm. they are very chauvinistic, mm -hmm. so they know it. They know too much. Mm -hmm. So when they come to church, they come to church even without same mentality. Mm -hmm. So even when you are, so you mean they, are they are not teachable. They, are, they, they don't have like a teachable. Many of them, but my old <laughs> husband is teachable anyway. Well, you know what you guys? <laughs> you know what you guys are reminding me of? There was a uh, small like. Uh, <laughs> a, a neighbor came back and was like, uh, like two weeks ago, uh, in between the time he was telling me the story, mm. like uh, three weeks before he was telling me the story, that mm. the man, the man of God was like, come, why is it that when we're talking about marriage, everybody is looking towards the women, we're always looking towards the women, that if you know as a man, mm. you have never cheated on your wife, mm. put your hands up. Yeah, but you, wait, mm -hmm. that was it, the end of the whole gist. You know, everybody who would want to put his hand up or not put his hand, you know, because everybody felt, look, that's my up personal. Or down, up and down. Sure, you, you understand. Are. So, the guy was not you telling me the story that, you know what, how the guy knew he had stepped on toes? No. Tights of tights reduced. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Tights. He said, what? Tights just. Drop, drop, to tell you that the major people paying tithes the, in the uh, church yeah. were men. Yeah. Okay. So you and understand. And then he was the, he was in the church and they were doing the normal accounts and he noticed that it had gone three so quarters. Bad. He thought half of the money of the tithe is being you used for something else. No, 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 no. No, no, no. They were the, the men were angry because of what for he that has question. said. Wow. You know, to tell you, just to back up that strong mind mm -hmm. that an average uh, uh, a Nigerian or African man has. Like, mm -hmm. why do you question my, my fidelity? fidelity. Yeah. Yes, You have exactly. no right to mm -hmm. question you you know, don't know how I, 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 I live, live my, my life, life. Mm -hmm. if I'm faithful mm -hmm. or unfaithful. You know, so when tight drop, the guy is saying, no, nah, man, he has that kind of question. Wow. <laughs> so in other words, they are not ready to love their wives <laughs> as their own bodies no. because they will come out and tell you there was a, look recently a man a pastor came to meet me that look where is it in the bible that uh, that uh, polygamy polygamy was condemned oh yes a pastor came and told me that where you know him yeah uh, where is it in the bible that polygamy was categorically condemned rachel, uh, rachel and leah Polygamy, yes, yeah, yeah, polygamy, but it was condition that made that happen. They're not gonna remember that condition. Yeah, yeah well, we should not forget that all the things that happened in the Old Testament, uh -huh. God permitted it. it. By yes. His permissive will, He allow certain things to happen That's because this is this is a, a nation man that is looking He has for chosen and wants to, ref, you know, use that nation yeah. to show forth who mm -hmm. He is as God. Yeah. So He allowed certain things at certain, you know, times. So that because he's not revealing who he is, like I'm God, Jehovah Jireh, I'm your provider, mm -hmm. I'm God this, I'm God that. The people don't know who he is. Mm. So in a way, he allowed certain things, he permitted them, mm -hmm. but not in the new generation, generation. Or the new dispensation, which is the New Testament. Each man must, must have his own. I take unto himself a wife. Yes. He didn't specify okay. two 
or three okay. wives. Well, so it, Jacob, it, God allowed him to take Leah and Rachel for a they reason. Were, yeah. They were okay. They were. They, they had. You're saying they had gone off you know, God's people, plan, yeah. and he needed to redirect them on the right plan. Is that what no, you're saying? No, no, no. I, I think even when when I look at what we said earlier on, mm -hmm. um, whereby a rape is being rape. taken out exactly. of a man, mm -hmm. and then the, then from that rape a woman came. Mm -hmm. You know. They use that one rib. Mm. So they didn't use one rib to make two women. No. And when God brought Eve to Adam, mm -hmm. God brought only one Eve. No. God did not bring two Eves no. and to Adam. No. So that is the genesis of marriage, honey. That's okay. the genesis. It means that's how God that's intended it. That's how it has to be. Okay. And if so, you look at Abraham's lifestyle, for instance, Abraham didn't eat out of himself go in for Hagar. No. Mm -hmm. It was Sarah who suggested it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. and, and Jacob, for instance, I might say, also didn't desire to marry two women. No. But he desired only one woman. Only he was only tricked. Only one, yes. Mm -hmm. He was tricked into be, because it's like of he's course. in love with uh, Ajwa. Mm -hmm. So when you are now, being tricked. Uh, the in law have given uh, uh, him uh, 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 Benedicta. Uh, Benedicta. Mm -hmm. So he had to work double shift in order to gain the one thing he truly loved. So exactly. We, we need to look also at the dispensation and also the time. One thing you have to know is that happen. the average man out mm. there, the average African man, mm. whose uh, tradition is still... Uh, and he's embracing that tradition because it favors him. Mm -hmm. Imagine if it was not favoring him, he mm. would have re violently, <laughs> you know, denounced, <laughs> denounced it. it. It's exactly. That's why you're going for two, three so wives. That's why, but I don't see the favor because you see the mortality rate back home. Yeah. The men die much, much earlier than the women. Because they are laboring so much. So much over, they are laboring and so emotionally much. too. Yes, they are laboring busy so all the time. Yeah. You know what someone told me one time, I, which I really loved of his And not only that, they are so crowded. He said, that, you know, there are too many women available for men. Yeah. And, and that the ratio is four to one. Yes, even so. Seven. <laughs> that's the reason is why. That why he, where, where is the, the man, proof? He's just the, imagining in his head. You know, I said, you I know told for him, a man, you know when two women passes, mm. he, he, he gives it a mental calculation of 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I would, like, I would like that we don't digress so much, that yeah, we no, go back to no. some of the problems, some of the problems. What are some of the crucial problems that, that are, are coming in because of marriage uh, crowdedness? Mm. Yes. When a marriage is crowded in the African context, mm. also what are some of the reasons that, are, that we can uh, mention mm. as part of this uh, crowded lifestyle? Because if it is not being addressed and being tackled, it will continue to increase um, uh, the, the rate of divorce Difference. in the modern day marriage. So we made mention of a family intrusion mm. so because the man have not left the family. Yeah. And, uh, and what about the callings? Uh, uh, you know, the intrusion through telephones and, uh, and, mm. and, and, and the demanding of the mother-in-law and sister-in-laws and, and all of those things. I, the crowdedness really, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say... Friends the, that are dragging yeah, the man too. I, the crowdedness is not me, more... It is. It happens often in Africa, yeah. but it's not typically an African issue. Mm -hmm. Take, you know, Diana Spencer who died not too long ago, oh, yeah. for instance. It's true. That it's was true. also a crowded marriage. Hmm. Yeah, it's a true. crowded marriage. You know, you, she, she was married to a prince. And then somebody else was in the marriage. So we, we need to be careful, you know, not to stigmatize. For me, what I would say is that, you know, uh, a marriage that is crowded has no basis to be able to stand strong yes because once it's crowded it means that there is more than one or uh, two people in the marriage yeah. the marriage is supposed is composed of a man and a woman uh, yes and that is where it ends with children that will come along but any time where there is two men in the marriage two versus one woman or two women versus one man yeah is bound to t bring problem it's just like you having a husband mm -hmm. who is having a girlfriend outside of the marriage okay or so. or or, or or, or, or involved somewhere that yeah. you don't know. Mm -hmm. That is also crowded. Exactly. Family people calling in at all times when there is not no agency Major, yes. for the cause of the call. Yeah. That is also could also be, you know, termed as, as crowdedness. So the it pressure, is broad based. The pressure to get money at all costs from maybe uh, the, 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 the mothers, the mother in laws who don't uh, <laughs> you know, they don't consider what their sons are going through. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I understand what you mean. Uh -huh. it, it is a delicate issue. It is so. Uh, what, I will not talk is, about. What I wanted to say is, mm. uh, being crowded is is relative. 
uh, if I may say. Mm. Uh, we are, I'm married to a Dutchman. Yeah. Mm. I won't lie. Sometimes I miss that Hazel hide, you mm. know, with other members of the family. Okay. Mm. You know, like uh, once in a while, like you for have instance, a when we are, you know, when we are, in the, you know, mm -hmm. or <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, like when we're back <laughs> in Nigeria, you know, we live in a very big compound, mm. and you step out, and this other person steps out, and the other person steps out, <laughs> and you know, before you know, you have some family jokes, and we're drinking, and we're laughing, and mm. we are chatting, and mm. before you know, the soup is flowing ah, from yeah, somewhere, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. you know, some spicy meat mm. is flowing from mm. somewhere. Mm. I, I don't know if you mean if that is what you called crowdedness, but from no. what I'm, I'm getting from you, you're talking about so. the personal intrusion into the person's personal space. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And what you just described, mm. you know, in every culture, you know, the Europeans, they also have a culture. Yes. Yeah. yes. They, they, they have their way of doing things. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Culture is the way people, a group of people do their things. Yeah. Okay. So we as Africans also have our culture. Mm -hmm. And even the culture within, like Ghana, for instance, we have a, a, a culture that, you know, reflects, you know, all the culture. But then, you know, ethnically, we have yeah. also other cultures. Yeah. So if you go to Volta region, for instance, we have a different culture yeah. than those in the south, which is the Gans or the Ashantis or whatever. The cultures differ mm. a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then generally, we have one Ghanaian culture. In other words, we have the way Ghanaians do things. Yes, okay. it's true. And that's what they call culture. And when you come to Europe, it's also the same way. They also have the way they do their things. Mm -hmm. But then on both sides, we have the pros and the cons. Okay. The one that favors us and the one that does not favor us. Okay. Sorry to cut you short, but as regards what she said, uh, the crowdedness, mm -hmm. I think it becomes a problem if uh, the Bible, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, the Bible mm -hmm. says the man is the head of the house. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, it, which, if you say the man is the head of the house, it's yes. supposed to mean that the man gives direction, he takes he's basic... He's the provider, he's the know, caretaker. Uh, he takes basic decisions. Yeah. 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 I think... It would become a problem if mm. the man doesn't have a firm rule. For instance, mm -hmm. uh, if the man is sleeping with his wife that early morning where mm. he wants to discuss some Issues. family matters mm -hmm. and his sister calls, mm. if the man is a real you man. Know, man that adores his marriage, mm -hmm. he would say, sorry, call me back later. One hour time, yeah. I'm busy. Yeah. No matter, you mm -hmm. know, he doesn't need mm -hmm. to explain to his sister or mm -hmm. whoever what is exactly calling, he's doing, whatever yeah. he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. I think I, I, our men want to save their marriage. They should be able to stand up and, and just say certain you know, things to their say, siblings. Say things the way it should. Look, this is it, this is it, this is it. So we're talking about you know? boldness now. Yes, it, it, it will help to reduce the intrusion and this mm. is where it comes and if a man i notice i, I see it in my husband too mm. if my ma if i see that my man is very firm about certain things mm. before you know it i'll follow him mm. if a man does right mm -hmm. the wife him automatically plugs in okay but she will automatically now tell her own folks that yes. see my husband has told his sister okay so you, you should <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not like the man is, you know, like they say, the man is the oh, head, yeah. but the woman is the neck. Yeah, exactly. So, no matter Without how the big neck, you the, neck, the head is, yes. the neck that, the turns, neck it that turns it and gives wow. a direction. You know, that kind of awesome. a thing. Awesome. So, awesome. like she said, yep. I think boldness from the part mm -hmm. of the head of the house. Yes. yes. If it be woman, we be head, or if it be man, or but yeah. yeah. But that's what I'm saying, that I believe strongly that these things are not really well taught, really. If I, when you go to Africa, most of the time, our fathers are even missing in the home. They, they are not in the home 24 hours mm -hmm. around the place. That's why they say it's women who create or build a home. Okay. Because they are there. Yes. They raise kids. They yeah. they pamper the kids. They yeah. comfort them when they are in need. Yeah. While the man goes out to bring in the income. Of course. That's how it is. And, and then you and realize then in the evening, he, he will branch to the permit joint to relax. <laughs> <laughs> You're you really it's true. He will pass to the permit joints, <laughs> relaxing. Well, he, at that moment, he should be at home helping mm. to <laughs> inject his own. But look at the children here. Yeah. Uh, I came and I saw, noticed that yeah. the basic average European child yeah. is just strong. You know, he, he knows what he wants. He's not. But. Back home, you yes. see men that are just you sentimental. Mean, uh, European, European, uh, what do you mean? What I'm, what I'm trying to say are is, you sure? no, what I'm trying to say is, if we look at the family unit yes. here, yeah. mm -hmm. and look at the family unit back in my, uh, where I come from, Nigeria, yeah. mm -hmm. the family unit here is stronger because men 
have a lot of role they are playing yes. in building families. Yeah. True. And it reflects on this general society itself. Yeah. That Probably is why we're talking about the old generation. Oh. But the society no, is still much better. Because the new than ones that are coming up, they are more messed up than we are. We were. Oh, really? Because I, I if, if you Look see now, you. if you see now, uh, we're saying corruption, corruption back home. Mm -hmm. Here, from the family unit, they yeah. have started injecting into to the child and the children that yes. look, uh, nation building is very important. It's very important. Yeah, it's true. Nation building, the general interest of every family, I've noticed it, mm. is nation building. Yes. Mm -hmm. Back home, it is me, myself, so, and my, my family. My family yeah, so okay. if you go out to go and survive, it's survivor to the fittest. So if mm. you enter a p public office, yeah, eat okay. till the money is finished. <laughs> Because, you know, you, you, you're only thinking that you, you you, really of your family. You really are funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, well. But, but please, if I am not making good sense, yeah, I, I, do, I do, I do, I do. I just feel that we, should, know, we should stick <laughs> to the... You know, I don't want us to branch too much into yeah. politics or anything <laughs> exactly, else. Unless exactly, exactly. You know, that's true. All right. Yeah. Because okay. <laughs> like that's I, very uh, true. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, it, it's, it's a culture thing and... The, the culture also plays a role in how we do our things. And so that's why when even as uh, Africans here in Europe, mm. you realize that it's not easy for us to live fulfilled lives here because uh, we were trained otherwise differently yeah. from where we came from. Okay. With different values, different understanding of the way things are done. And then we come into this new environment yeah. whereby they also have their culture. And now it's, it's telling you, when you go to Rome, do as Romans do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as we come here, we begin to act and do things as they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that tone between those two cultures is not an easy no. thing. Even not for the one who is n not unbelieving or yeah. the one who is believing. Okay. And then to top it all, we also have believing system, which is those of us who are Christians. Yeah. Who love our God, who lo yeah. wants to serve God. Okay. So you can imagine, you know, so you need to be solid. In, in who you are in God, in order to rise above these cultures, yes. both African or European. Or peer groups as well. That is the mm -hmm. only way you can okay. make it, because so if you don't, you'll yeah. be torn in so many parts. Okay, so... You'll be uh, drawn here, you'll be drawn here, you'll be drawn there. So if we can, uh, if we can um, tell those who are listening to us right now, marriage have principles and marriage have rules. Mm -hmm. And then if we abide to the rules of marriage, as God, says be, it. As God have said, mm -hmm. so we would be very effective and in successful in our marriages. Yeah. But when we deviate from the, the, the normal mm -hmm. standards, mm -hmm. then it will bring chaos. It will bring chaos. So, and to those who are listening to us, whose marriages are very chaotic or whose marriages are very rowdy, mm -hmm. I just want to give you two minutes to say something to them. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what should be the suggestion you are giving? Um, it takes two to tango. It takes two to build a home, uh -huh. a man and a woman. Yeah. And that's why the Bible said the man, so therefore a man shall leave his mother and father and go and cling to the warm woman and they shall become one. So in other words, there's a clinging, there's a oneness. Yes. So my advice to the people out there is that make sure what you are building, there's a oneness in it. Yes. There's a togetherness. Yes. There's no separation. So the man says A and the wife is, is no same B. Okay. There must be oneness in understanding in the way the things the home is run. Yeah. So if you have children, for instance, and uh, one of the child Snoops. goes to Papa and said, Papa, I want Snoopy. Mm -hmm. And the Papa said, Nay, ma that magnet. Yeah. Then the woman has to confirm the same answer. Exactly. Daddy says, magnet, magnet. Yes. But the moment you go and say, Oh, you want to prove as though you love the child more than your, your husband does. Mm -hmm. And then you go and Papa and they give mm -hmm. the Snoopy. What you are doing is you are building, a, 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 or you are creating a room for confusion. Yeah, exactly. Then you will know who is now the head of the house, okay. the one who is ruling as the caretaker, as the provider, yeah. as the one leading. Okay. So it is very important to know. And one thing I've also realized when I came to Europe, I keep telling people, I said, when I go to a home, I can tell right away the one who is ruling, whether God is ruling or Satan is the one ruling. Yes. Because God in his own wisdom has created it in such a way that the man should be the head. And that is indispu indisputable. indisputable yes, so exactly. no matter what, the man must be the head. Yes. Whether he's the one that brings in the income or not, yes. he must be the head. The head yes, but the yes. moment the m woman tries to take exactly. that role, yes. take over, yes. th there's something else at work. Exactly. Then you begin to invite and, 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 
and, and, and, and allow certain things to come into the marriage yes. to destroy the structure of the home. So even to a man so that is God, very calm, uh, mm. God has made them to be the head and they must assume their role. He must assume So no role. matter what is happening around them, they must mm. assume that role. Yes, so even if role. we are in a culture whereby uh, you know, women are fortunate to be working more than the men, mm -hmm. and because women work more than the men, some mm. of them are now wearing the brook as a Dutch people will say, exactly. women wear the brook. Mm -hmm. So if you are a woman out there watching us and you are wearing the brook, don't wear the brook anymore. Undo the brook. <laughs> Remove it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Let the man be himself. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we are, we are we are going to round up now. What do you have to say, Anita? Well, um, what I have to say, she's already said it all. This is a uh, this is a Christian program. Yeah. And uh, the Bible is, is the groundwork yeah. of everything that is being said here. Yeah. And even if I say outside it, it will still. You know, if I'm being genuine yeah. about, I'm truthful, yeah. it's still going to have a reflection on yeah. what the Bible has to say. Yeah, it's um, true. So what I have to say, mm. it's the same thing. Uh, uh, it's difficult, but mm. communication. Yeah, okay. You know, it's also pleasant. Uh, you know, communicate with yourselves. If something is not going well, well yes. just create, maybe just look for a small a space in your mm. house and call it communication room. Mm. Exactly. You look for a small, that. you know, yeah. you just do that yeah. so that if, sometimes the men, the women mistakenly wear the brook. They don't mm. know. Yeah. How will she know? Yeah. It's not being said. Yeah, mm. it's true. You know, sometimes and the man just mistakenly wears the skirt. He doesn't <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> so my, <laughs> but my, my <laughs> own conclusion is, without communication, you can't really practice the true love that is expected to make marriage flourish. It's true. Amen. Amen. And, and also for those who are of the opinion that uh, men, African men, when they marry African women, uh, they don't treat them the way they're supposed to treat them. I think it has to boil down to communication mm -hmm. because the white woman, when you marry her, would always tell you what she wants. Mm -hmm. But the African woman, we have been nurtured to endure. Yeah. Please, if you are enduring, don't endure anymore. We want you to be outspoken. Tell the men what you want. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So speak out and let them know where they are hurting you. I believe that things will change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for listening to us. And uh, once again, my name is Apostle Helen Ruth Dokenu. Anita Hogan. And my name is Minister Beauty Votsogwe. So we want to say thank you for listening to us, and uh, we meet you again. God richly bless you. Bye. Amen. <laughs>